Hey guys, Julia. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys just how I've packed some things that I'm taking with me to college. And I'm not really showing you me actually packing them, I'm showing you everything after it's kind of already been packed. But I'm going to explain kind of what I did and show you some hacks on folding clothes for packing and just kind of fitting a lot more in a small space. If you guys like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below and follow me on my social medias if you guys want to stay up to date with me on any other platforms. And yeah, let's just get into the video. Okay, so first I want to show you guys my jeans. So this I'm probably going to put under my bed and this has, yeah, jeans and pants on here. There's some small pants and there's two little uh, like skirts I folded up in there. And if you guys want to see how I folded my jeans, I can show you guys that. And I got everything to kind of fold up really small and like even the sweatpants in like a little pocket, which I can also so show. My jeans, I've been folding them like half up like this. And then I flip, flip them so they like match up and then just fold it in half. And that's been making them like pretty flat. These are some sweatpants that I'm not taking with me, but I did fold up sweatpants in a really cool way. So I just wanted to show you guys how I did that. So I take them and fold them up in half like this. Then I do it another half, I fold them up. Then I take the waistband part, which also has the bottom legs and fold that to cover that half. Then I fold this whole thing in a third. And then in here, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's kind of like a pocket area. So I take this rest part and stuff it all inside that pocket. And this gets them like a lot more compact than if I were to just um, like fold them in half or whatever. So that's just a cool way how I folded like sweatpants. Leggings, I really just fold my normal way, which is just like in half and then in half again. And that still worked for me. There's nothing really special with that. Then in the second drawer, I have all my hoodies and other um, crew neck like sweatshirts and stuff. And luckily I was able to get a lot to fit in here after I like folded them um, up really nice instead of just like laying them flat like maybe you would think to fold them. So I think I have 10 like sweatshirts in here so that's really good. Uh, for hoodies I'm just using my sisters as an example since I have folded all mine already. But what I do is I take the sleeves and fold them across kind of just try to flatten it out and then take the hood and put it over the sleeves and again just try to get it like as flat as possible and then I take the bottom waistband and fold it up to meet the other side then I fold it in a third and then in another third and this gets it into a small like package so first in this top drawer I just have some uh, fuzzy socks laying in here and this is all in my smaller like tower thing that's gonna go to my bed but I have some fuzzy socks and then I have this little basket with scrunchies that I just packed in here and then behind this I packed like biker shorts and other athletic kind of shorts in here and I might actually leave that um the way that is but it just it's still like packed in there pretty nice then in the second drawer I have all like workout kind of stuff um which is all like leggings and then these are like kind of well this is a workout top these are workout tops uh fancy pants and then some other leggings and then these are kind of like sweatpants sporty joggers and I got all this stuff to fit in this small drawer folding it like really small which I can also show you guys how I folded some of that stuff then I have one last thing I can show you guys how to fold which is like tank tops and this also worked for my workout tops as well just to get them super super small so I take the part where the straps are and fold them down to meet the edge then I take the bottom waistband and fold that back up. And that, uh, so I'm doing a package kind of fold. So I'm taking this, folding it in a third, then find where you have some sort of like pocket and stick the other side in there. And it's super flat and a little 
like compact thing. And I showed you guys this cart in my one of my last videos, one of my college dorm halls. And I tried to pack a lot of stuff in here to go just because I it is storage so I can, you know, pack things. I didn't pack up all the drawers, but I can show you some stuff that I have now. It's like this one has all my Bath and Body Works stuff in here. And I think I'm gonna also keep that in here um, besides just for moving. And then here, yeah, it's all headbands, hair accessories, stuff like that. I have sunglasses in there. Then I have some of these huge Ikea bags. And in here, well, this one has like my comforter stuff, so there's not that much to see. But in the one underneath it, it's all like sheets, um, pillows and things. I have this little white box that pretty much has all my like bathroom kind of related things. And it's stacked super high. Like I packed a ton of stuff in here. There's medicine, first aid stuff, uh, like toothpaste stuff. There's all nail products, all filled to the brim. Yeah, there's all medicines down there. And I just thought having all that kind of stuff in one box would be good because this should all be going to the pretty much the same place. So that would be easier for moving. So then in my closet, I have, I pretty much figured out all my tops that I'm bringing, but I just have them sitting in here until right before I go, I'll put like a trash bag over them and then in the car. But these are all those hanger, those hangers that have different slots. You put all the clothes in there and it just, it just really like condenses them instead of having everything kind of next to each other. Stuff that I have here and then I have some stuff hanging on my door, which is like three different of those hooks, all adds to like 50 tops. So that was like good for me. And then I have some jackets just bringing, none of this stuff is staying. This is stuff I'm wearing before I leave. So ignore that, but like this stuff I'm taking with me. It's in this small space with these three different hangers, I have all my skirts and like different uh, like nicer pants. So there's these little clips that I have like four skirts on each hanger. And then this one has pants and like maxi skirts. And this just has some pants that are like folded over. So I'm taking these three. An ottoman right here that I'm taking with me. And for now I have uh, all my makeup stuff in here, saran wrapped also, just so it doesn't fall out. And then I actually, I can take this out and show you guys. I brought one like glass perfume bottle, but I put that in bubble wrap, taped it, and then into a block bag just in case it leaks, and that's in here. And then this is in bubble wrap. It's actually just a little glass like stand that I have for my beauty blender. So we just put that stuff in here. I also have this Vera Bradley like duffel bag, which is my go bag for the cell. And I talked about this in my last video, but this is something that is all packed with stuff in case I get COVID or I was like with someone that had it and I have to quarantine or isolate at my school. So this has everything I need if I have to leave my room like immediately and go somewhere else. So in here I have a few like clothes that I'm taking with me. This has some toiletry stuff. There's a hand sanitizer. This is like health documents I need to give the nurse or whatever. I have this other bag down here that has all small, like travel size toiletry products. I apologize for the bad lighting over here, but in this big Ikea bag, I have it just leaning against my bed right now, but it has all my like pajamas and t-shirts. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I folded those all up in here because these I'm gonna put in drawers that will already be at my school, so I couldn't already pack them in something, so that's why they're in okay, this. Okay, so that was it for today's video, just showing you guys how I pack some things for when I'm moving to college and I hope you guys enjoyed and liked some of the tips I gave you for how to fold things out really small when you're packing. If you enjoyed this video, again, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, follow me on social medias, and I will see you guys in my next video.